<laughs> okay, so um, question number two is five things that people can start practicing to dive into Tantra. Five things that you can start practicing. So I've got some notes over here. Let me just refer to that. It's going to be easier. So the first thing that you can start practicing is breathing techniques, mm -hmm. right? So breathing techniques, uh, if I give you a couple of hints, the first one is fire breath, right? Fire breath will be breathing in a way that is dynamic. For instance, if we do it right now, it's like... Or it can be through the nose. Maybe do it with me. Mm -hmm. And so you do that as a dynamic meditation practice, right? Mm -hmm. Right now it's just a few seconds, but if you do that for like five, ten minutes, then it activates something really profound in your field. Again, a field of What energy. do you think that it activates? Well, a state of, uh, you know, increased energy, mm -hmm. like lots of energy. And so when you activate those channels of life force inside of you, then it really expands your field clears your mind, brings, uh, you know, health and vitality to your field. So it impacts uh, your, your personality and your, your being on a multidimensional level. Okay. Right? Um, the second technique that you can use is simple mantras. So, for instance, if uh, you and I, we just met and we go like, Anahata Jaya, Anahata Jaya, Anahata Jaya, Anahata Jaya. Anatta Jaya, Anatta Jaya, Anatta Jaya, Anatta Jaya. So this is connecting to the heart, right? So this anchors a field of energy. Any form of mantras that you can use. The ones that I use are used in a way that I call mantra japa, which is repetition. Mm -hmm. right? Instead of being complex melodies, it's like one, two, three words, and we go, we repeat them endlessly in loops. And that works really well with activating uh, magic. The third thing is energy techniques. So we want to be, as, uh, as tantricas, we want to be energy masters. Mm -hmm. Energy masters means that we have a mastery over our energy field and our emotions. Okay. And so the idea is to be able to uh, clear the field in any way we want. So, for instance, if I have um, some emotion that is trapped in my field, I'm going to do some, you know, shaking, shaking. And breathing. I'm going to sound, ah, learn how to release, go Dying. into the shamanic states where you are accessing your, ah, you know, your rage and your power. So you open space for emotions to be expressed that mm -hmm. would not be expressed otherwise. So this would be... Um, you know, one of the, um, yeah, of the, the, energy, the techniques. Techniques, energy techniques. Another one, which is a little bit more vague right now, but uh, you can call that intentional living. Mm -hmm. So any action that you take in life, instead of uh, just doing things, <laughs> right? Instead of just showing up somewhere and you do something uh, without thinking about the consequence of your actions, you see before you act, as you are acting or as you're taking action, what is going to be the consequence of your action? So, for instance, if you and I are having a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. This is intentional speech. The code word for that is vakyayama, is mastery of speech, right? Is mastery of the throat chakra and how I express myself in life. So, you know, if we just met, you might ask me a question. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, man, I just came back from the rice fields over there. I had to fix my motorbike, blah, 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 blah. It's like interview questions, completely non-interesting. It doesn't give you anything. It doesn't give me anything to share that information. Mm -hmm. But if we go into something into more intentional, it might be, hey, what, what is your highlight of what you experienced yesterday? Mm -hmm. You see, now I'm focusing on really bringing your attention to the positive aspects of your life. Or I might be like, hey, I noticed that there is something in your field that feels a little bit awkward. Um, what's behind that? Mm -hmm. What's behind that emotion? So this intentional conversation, communication is really, really powerful. And you can apply that to action, to the way you eat, to anything, to the way you do business, to the way you engage into life. So, um, yeah. Another one that is really important, uh, detox your system. Right, so anything that has to do with clarifying your field, eating healthy, training your body, and bringing all that into physical embodiment. So you might be like, what is spiritual about that, right? So with Tantra and the way I approach it is a multidimensional integration. Mm -hmm. Multidimensional integration means that it's not just calling the mantra and hoping that all that will uh, be permeating our lives. It is much more about consciously bringing it into incarnation in every way we can. So 
my definition of Tantra is a path of life mastery. Mm -hmm. Okay? So life mastery means that we want to master all aspects of life. And so when we look at, uh, you know, the body, mind, and spirit system, all the different aspects of the mind to be mastered are like the thoughts, the emotions, the feelings, sensations, everything that's happening there. This is our vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. This is, this is our, our, our um, yeah, body of incarnation and it's part of our egoic vehicle. And so it comes all the way down into the physical body as well in the form of the diet, the food that you have, and ways of detoxifying and clearing your, your field. So it's 100% part of the tantric practices. So that's Perfect. it. This Beautiful. is some, some of the practices.